Hey guys, Jim at the 5.8 here, back in my first episode of Over, Under, and In the Sewer segment for the Universe of the Blue Tubers. This is going to be under, because this film is underrated because not a lot of people talk about it. And I'm going to be playing Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 3, as to help this be awesome. Alright, for underrated is a film that I love as a child, and I still love as an adult because it brought back that sense of wonder. That movie is Jim Henson's Muppet Treasure Island. Muppet Treasure Island was released in 1998, if I'm correct. This was one of Jim Henson's um, later pictures, as you all will later know for it, is that it is a Muppet adaptation, as you all know the stories of, you know, Muppet Wizard of Oz, you know, movies of, like, the Muppets take Manhattan, it's in that kind of category, at least 96, I mean. Really, 96, this movie was directed by Brian Henson, yes, Brian Henson, um, who was the son of Jim Henson. Yes, born well, 1963, near the time when Muppets was created. He is famous for the show movies Farscape, Muppets in Space, and Muppets Christmas Carol, starring Michael Caine as Ebenezer Scrooge. Awesome. Because I'm Master Wang. Because I'm Alfred. Anyway, Muppets Treasure Island was directed by Brian Henson, his son, and as always, it's, it's written by Robert Louis Stevenson and Jerry Jewell. Jerry Jewell was the... The screenplay for, mo for the writer for some of the Muppet movies. This is based on the Robert Louis Stevenson book, and the good thing is, I think the Lord it still retains its, um, you know, the uniqueness of the book. It keeps intact. It's not. It, it doesn't get too off. It follows the story. There's not too many sign gags that distract from the story. This stars in the talents of Tim Curry, <laughs> Nigel Thornberry, Nigel <laughs> Jim Hawkins. The darkness is creeping. <laughs> Sorry. Betty Connolly, as you know, as King Fargus from Brave, as Billy Bones. Jennifer Saunders as Miss Blowbridge. Kevin Bishop as Jim Hawkins. David Goals as the Great Gonzo. Dr. Honeydew, Waldorf, and Zoot. Steve Whitmer as Kermit the Frog, Rizzle the Rat, and Beaker. <laughs> oh, yeah, Beaker. <laughs> Um, Jerry Nelson as Statler, Blind Blapil, Madame Monty, Corn, Floyd Pepper, Lee Zuland, Pirate, Skulls, the Butler, and the Screaming Cat, uh, Kevin Clash as Bad Polly, Black Dog, Spat M, The Chicken, Ba Ba, Miss, Miss Piggy, for the assistant to Fozzie Bear, Sam the Eagle assistant, Animal assistant, Lloyd Pike, The Monkey, Old Torn Tom, and the Pirate. Billy Beretta was the voice of Clueless Morgan, Swedish Ship, who referred to her, 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 Blind Pew, who did the operation of the hands, Pirate, the Fat Pig, Skulls, and Black Eyed Faith. Hey! Aye! That's what I like. Aye! Sorry. Um, Fake Oz is the voice of Miss, you know, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Sam the Eagle, and Animal. Animal! Animal! Ah! You know. Uh, John Henson is Sweetums, Dan Blackner as Shortstack, Peter Geeves as Black Eyed Pete, Harry Jones, Easy Pete, David Nichols as Captain Flint. Man, and that's who's in the movie. The plot of it is basically the Muppets do Robert Louis Stevenson's story of Muppet Treasure Island. Now, well, maybe we're all thinking, J5, you reviewed this. Why are you doing this for the Blue Tubers? Well, I think you need to know about this film. It's a great Muppet movie. And it does a good job at adapting the story by Stevenson. Just like when, when he wrote Dr. J the, you know, the Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Even though I wish they would do a Muppet version, that would be so amazing. But we're getting off topic. This is over underrated because not a lot of people talk about it because they treat it like it's a stray film of the Muppets. Like it's not important. It is part of the Muppet canon. Because it involves the Muppets, dang it. And if it doesn't involve the Muppets, then what kind of movie is it? Just a movie with sock puppets? No! Jim Henson created the Muppets to help entertain kids of all ages, like Walt Disney did for Mickey Mouse and Goofy. This is part of childhood. And I think people need to more, need more about this movie because I think kids of this generation need this kind of animation. It's puppetry. And everything we live in a CG world, we are not given that respect to other art forms. And puppetry is a unique one. And when it's done, like in The Muppets Most Wanted, it's good. When people disregard it as a fallen art, it's a bad thing, because that's part of the past. You know, to get the CG, we had to be puppeteers, or, 
had to be animators, take drawers. Some of us basic animation is as good as we can do. So we had to be able to be as good as we can to make art flourish and feel alive. The actors do a very good job. Billy Connolly was funny as Billy uh, as Billy Bones. Get it, Billy Billy Connolly. Oh hey, I like his very funny um uh slightly pointed accent. Hi, bald ones. It was pretty funny. He felt like a real pirate. That was funny. I love the referential humor in this movie. It's pretty funny. Um, I mean, Jim C Tim Curry is everyone's favorite bad man, bad guy. Because he's over the top. He's goofy. He's funny. I think he is a Muppet, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Every time you see him as Captain L Long John Silver, you can't get enough of this guy. He's just too funny to enjoy. He's a villain you love to hate. Because he's so corny, and he's Tim Curry, for Christ's sake. He's Pennywise the Clown, for Christ's sake. Whoa, oh, man, Muppety Fog here. Mr. Pennywise, do you think fog flows? Oh, yes. I float. I float. <laughs> I float. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that out of my system. <laughs> uh, the voice acting is very good. Frank Oz, you know, Whitmer, and them returning as the Muppets. It's always a pleasure to hear these guys' voices. Frank Oz is Kermit the Frog, who you may know as Yoda. <laughs> Put the lock on the dark side, yes. <laughs> yes. The dark side. There's the boss. Okay, enough of the jokes. I'm sorry. I'm making myself laugh. But I think people should watch it because it's the Muppets. It's part of your childhood. You grew up with this. You cannot lie and say you've never seen the Fraggles or Muppet Treasure Island, which is what I'm reviewing, or anything Jim Henson related because Jim Henson helped a lot of our imagination. He helped with Labyrinth. Heck, he helped with helping Chewbacca, for Christ's sake. You know yeah. But anyway, people should know about this. That's why it's in the other category. I love this film. Everything is done to a T. The music, it's funny, it's Muppets. You know what they're meant to be. They're meant to entertain you, make you laugh. And that's why I give this movie a five out of five Muppet stars. Five stars! Five stars! Ah! Five stars! Okay, man, it's alright. Get five stars. What do you mean? Well, anyway, thank you guys for joining me for the first episode of Over, Under, in the Sewer, episode one, by George Island, for the Blue Tubers Universe YouTube channel. This is J5518, the sixth member. Um, if you want to check me out, check out my channel, J5518. Also, check out this Blue Tubers. we got a lot of stuff coming up tonight and for the days to come. Like this video, subscribe to our channels, comment on our channels, what do you think? Do you think this is an overrated film? Do you think we should know more about Bubba Treasure Island or not? Give us your feedback and we'll get back to you. This is Jared at 518. Sign off. Have a great night and see you later. Bye-bye.